There's a saying among reef keepers, consistency is key. And that's especially true for maintaining a healthy, stable saltwater aquarium. We're diving into aquarium automation and what it does, how it works, and whether it's worth the investment for your reef tank. I'm Jess, and this is Year of the Reef, episode 20. From lighting and temperature to nutrient levels and water chemistry, stability is the foundation of a successful reef. But reef keeping is hands-on and life gets busy. Travel, schedule changes, or simple forgetfulness can cause swings and that's where automation helps. Automation uses tools, controllers, and smart tech to handle repetitive or time-sensitive tasks. It doesn't replace the reef keeper, but it keeps parameters steady so you can focus on observing and enjoying your reef tank. Let's start with the accessible upgrades. Lighting control is the easiest entry point. Modern LEDs let you automate photo periods through an app, simulating sunrise, daylight peaks, sunset, and moonlight. Beyond the aesthetics, consistent light schedules support coral growth and reduce stress from abrupt changes. A heater controller adds crucial redundancy. Heaters fail on occasion. A controller monitors temperature with higher accuracy and can cut power if overheating occurs. That single safeguard can prevent a catastrophic spike that harms fish and corals. Auto top-off systems, or ATOs, quickly become essential in reef tanks where salinity stability is critical. Evaporation raises salinity. An ATO uses sensors to detect the drop in water level and automatically adds RODI water to maintain a steady salinity without daily manual top-offs. Next, dosing pumps automate the addition of calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, and trace elements, the building blocks of coral skeletons. Rather than a single large dose, you can schedule small increments throughout the day. That evens out consumption and avoids parameter swings that stress livestock. As coral biomass increases, you can adjust dosing rates to match real demand. For full visibility and control, a comprehensive aquarium controller acts as the system's brain. These platforms monitor temperature, pH, salinity, ORP, and water level, log trends, and send real-time alerts. You can program automatic responses, shut off a heater, turn on a chiller, stop return pumps during feeding, or trigger a leak alarm if water is detected where it shouldn't be. Taking automation further, some setups include automated water testing for alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium multiple times per day. Pair that with the dosing pumps, they create a feedback loop that makes micro adjustments as conditions change. That level of stability is difficult to match manually and can be a game changer for SPS heavy systems. So what does this mean for you? First, time savings. Automation takes on repetitive tasks, topping off, dosing, feeding, freeing you to focus on observation, aquascaping, and husbandry that really matters. Second, stability. Consistent temperature, salinity, and chemistry translate to stronger, more colorful corals and healthier fish. Many reefing problems trace back to instability. Automation helps flatten those curves. Third, vacation proofing. Whether you're away for a weekend or two weeks, automation keeps core processes running without asking a neighbor to become a reefing expert overnight. And finally, peace of mind. Alerts, sensors, and fail-safes notify you when parameters drift or equipment fails, giving you a chance to intervene before minor issues become major problems. That said, automation isn't a magic bullet. Costs can add up. A full setup, controller, ATO, dosing pumps, and auto testers can run into the thousands. Align your purchases with your tank's demands and your goals. Many reefers start with an ATO and dosing, then expands. Maintenance still matters. Sensors need periodic cleaning, float switches can stick, dosing lines can clog, and firmware may require updates. Schedule quick checks so your safety nets remain reliable. There's a learning curve. You'll be programming schedules, calibrating probes, setting alarms, and occasionally troubleshooting. Most systems are user-friendly once configured, but expect an initial setup phase. Finally, beware of disengagement. No device replaces your eyes. Daily visual checks catch subtle changes, polyps and just changes, fish behavior anomalies, or early pests and diseases. Automation should support, not replace, your involvement. So, is it worth it? For most reef keepers, especially with medium to large tanks, demanding corals, or busy schedules, yes. The consistency, control, and safety nets make the hobby more sustainable and enjoyable. For smaller systems, targeted automation still pays off. An ATO plus dosing pump usually eliminates the two biggest sources of instability and daily workload. Used thoughtfully, automation becomes one of the best tools you can deploy to support long-term success. If you found this helpful, subscribe, hit like, and check out the rest of our series for deeper dives into reef keeping. Until next time, happy reefing.